Hi, today is Monday the 31st, it's a public holiday and I'm taking the time to record an SPX Outlook and yet I don't really know what to say. As you can see, we've been in a trading range 4060 to 4450, more or less in between the strong support and strong resistance for a month and a half, almost two months. I mean, we passed this former resistance early April and a month and a half later, we're still there. Of course, I've been reading a lot of market commentaries of that this cannot last. My inclination would be, well, we should still go with the flow. But at the same time, yes, it is true that this strong resistance has held. And when we look at market volumes, the volumes were getting very low. But at the same time, last week, it picked up again and I believe we need a high volume bar to at least see that something is happening. Volume picked up on Thursday, uh, which means that there was probably more intense fighting around, around resistance. On the positive side, we also see that the um, SPX VIX correlation is strong. So no tricks being played like we've seen last year when there was a uh, an influx of calls and that fueled buying and it was a little bit of a anomaly so for for now i would say either you are contrarian in nature and you you will then hedge your positions or prepare for a reversal and if there's a reverse reversal i think it will have to wait until fomc and fomc is in two weeks time so difficult to say really what's going to happen this week of course we also see that on these Bollinger Bands, the 1SD or 2SD band is far too con constrained to, to hold volatility. Volatility has gone down if we look at VIX Central. When the market dips, it goes more flat and now it's back to a mild contango. But overall, and we know that when volatility is this low, it can be volatile itself. So we maybe it's, it's worth looking at volatility or volatility like the VVIX. So of course we have to be cautious. I mean that's my conservative stance towards trading is always leading my, my trading style. So of course if the market, if bulls feel tired and I suspect that many institutions have reached the projection highs for the year. I mean this, this has been a, a bumper year so far. And the market still looks overextended. At the same time, sellers are not really there yet. Again, I believe that the 4060, which was tested twice in the last two weeks, is a major support. And then we would have those fibs here as the last line of defense would be probably around 39.25. And if so, yes, the market could then drop. But we have time. I mean, it's almost 200 points down. Would the market fall like a stone, 200 points? Definitely not. It will most probably be gradual. But of course, if we see some change of tone, I mean, it will definitely give us a hint about the way forward. So this is what I look at for the four hour chart. Not very conclusive, I'm afraid. On the daily chart, the recent roller coaster here is, is visible. We see that the 4060 is here a pivot. We see that the fib lines that I've shown before, with 39.25 being in, the, or even 39.85 being the area of previous highs. And of course, the market could go back there. Are we seeing a head and shoulder or double top? Possible. Uh, I would say, it, it, with this quantitative easing, everything, anything is possible. So we will we'll have to remain, remain very cautious. But I would be tempted to still go with the flow, not adopt too much of a contrarian approach to my trades. So on this one, I would say the bull momentum still has to fade out completely. Now for, not for today, but because today is a public holiday, but for tomorrow we see the same type of support resistance lines. We see that the support has gone up to 41.40 now. Here as well, we see that the realized volatility as displayed by Bollinger Bands is very tight and even if volatility has gone down on average I would say that a 
and a one ASD projection of a one day is still around 30 points, which means that there are almost there are about two thirds probability of having the SPX move up to plus minus 30 points. So the chances of a volatility minor explosion or at least being bumped up on any event is still pretty high and only when we see a move we will be able to determine the way forward. So again I'm afraid I can't be more conclusive this time. I've, I will update my outlook on Slack on several occasions, not today because it's a public holiday but in, later in the week. We don't have a lot of news coming in at, until the second half of the week. Um, some people do look at for example, crude oil, commodities like copper, or they look at tension. Or some some people will be looking at, for example, the Chinese PMI. Is I mean, a lot of people also say that China um, lies about the statistics. So, but I would take any news from China with a pinch of salt. Um, the dollar has been kind of weak, but also. Uh, ranch trading so it's something something will have to give to give us a hint about the, the direction forward at the moment this lull can actually last maybe a few more days okay that is it for now next video will be on a current trade it's going to be short as well because i actually did nothing last week thank you for watching and bye for now